Hello good people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. Um, I'm with my colleague in the house and uh, there's a topical issue that we want to discuss and it has to do with what happened to the presidential aspirant under the People Democratic Party platform, talking about Peter Obi, one of the Southeast presidential candidates. And uh, yesterday, precisely yesterday, uh, he went to attend... Um, a burial and something very, um, for me, disastrous happened to him because uh, losing such a thing, for me, it's it's very serious, you know. And uh, according to the news, his phone got missing. Uh, it was stolen actually on Friday at the burial ceremony of the father of Valentine Ezigbo. I think Valentine Ezigbo was one of the governorship candidates of PDP in a number of states. Yeah, so he, he went to attend the guy's, uh, this thing, father's burial, late father's burial, uh, at uh, Ameze in Agwata, local government area, according to Igberi TV. And it was reported that the person that stole the phone has switched it off. It was also reported that the loss of the phone has thrown Mr. Peter Obi into a state of confusion because they could not even trace the phone. As a former governor and a presidential aspirant, he would have some important contacts and probably some vital documents stored in his phone. There is no doubt that this could make him feel bad. Mr. Peter Obi officially made his intention to run for presidency, known while he was addressing traditional leaders on Thursday, March 24th in Oka, the Anambra state capital. Another statement followed, but the focus right now is him losing his phone. And someone said something very funny, that that's an indication that uh, we can't trust him. Someone said, if, he said, good news, and actually it's another now. I won't want to mention the person's name. is a Nadna. And the person said, goodness, if you cannot protect your phone, how are we sure our country is safe in your hands? Hmm. What do you think about that? No, I, I, that's um, going to the extreme, if you ask me. Okay. Um, the truth is, um, one would have expected um, anybody to steal Peter Obi's phone. The question is, what do you want to use the phone for? Okay. All right. I feel that, um, mm -hmm. yes, to, to a great extent, he believed that um, in such a gathering of that magnitude, no one will have petty thief to that level okay. of probably picking up his phone. And that shouldn't be a yesterday to judge if he's going to be a better a better candidate or not. And that also tells you also how humble he is. Okay. For him not to even have AIDS and all that okay. to protect his phone. Okay, all right. Now, let's look at it from another perspective. Um, Peter Obi is a big guy. We know that. And he's been a governor and all of that. Don't you think, just like uh, the news had said, that there would have been some very important documents stored up there? And also, being that you are a presidential aspirant that uh, everybody seems to be focusing on, as at this time, don't you also think that he will be a target? But that's another thing. Yeah, really, for most presidential aspirants, they will do should, everything to should. ensure that they frustrate him and possibly some of the key things he may have in that phone our key um, uh, uh, contacts. contacts, yeah. I, I refuse to believe that Peter Obi will go without any form of security. That's um, that's taking your humility too far. Yes, to the extreme. So, yeah, this is not humility now. Everyone knows that Nigeria right now is facing security challenges. Especially a number of states, for so that matter. No matter how you're loved by your people, you should have a little of um, security, security aids here you. and there. Because if there were uh, security aids round about him, they would have noticed when the hoodlum picked it up. Up, exactly. Or where he kept it, and maybe it's all. If you're too busy, just tell your aides, hold this. Hold, cool. uh, yeah. That, that leads me to the issue of uh, creating different offices, uh, or the segregation of power, or segregation of duties, and division of labor, whereby people will come to understand that this is what I am paid for, and they will give all their best. Now, let's. I want to reflect before we go for that. I just want to look at uh, something that happened in the Bible days, you know, 
when Jesus left and the early church started, something happened where the widows of a particular city complained that they were not well taken care of. And the case was brought before the apostles. When they brought the case before the apostles, Peter stood up and said something. He said, we have not been called, called to, to do that, the tables, but yes. we to serve tables, but we have been called into the ministry of the word and prayer. Choose among yourself one who is filled of the Holy Ghost and who is of good integrity to look at that. That was when they brought in Deacon Stephen, you understand? Just okay. to show you that you need to prioritize your duty. Separation of power. Separate, you know, say, separation of duty. Say, that, okay, this person will take care of this so that you don't bother yourself around all of that. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel that if they can come so close to stealing him, to stealing his phone, they can also harm him, come so close and harm him. That's true. You know, so I've, I've never, I've never heard anybody, any governor talk about losing his phone and all of that. That's why this issue of uh, being too prudent, to prudent, has that's a, the word. you know, question mark on but, it. But um, I feel that um, I do not think that um, Peter B would have let himself lose and his phone was taken. Maybe along the line while crowd, he was still, yes, crowd moving in the you crowd. You know, if you've ever stayed in a crowded environment where you take a buses yes there are some persons who will pretend that they are also entering the same bus they are not entering that bus because they want to enter the, they want to enter the bus they enter the bus so that while you are busy body touching body they are busy you know going through your pockets and trying to pick up your phones so, so those days way back then when you are trying to attend the kind of bus you are, you are your hands are already in your pocket for 30 yes. your pocket as you're entering the bus then but i feel also that he wouldn't be maybe his phones were actually in his pocket while he was making speeches trying to get one, one yes, person to the just why I was noticing him that he was you know not being observant that like you rightly said he should have had some sort of security exactly. because if there's a security while he's busy quitting people the security man is on him exactly he's fully on, on him. him or maybe the media person who is in charge of phones you know for him because if you have a media person apart from the person would, there, would the media person be in charge of phones too of course he will hold the phone for the president and immediately he sees any call come in he will go close to the president say, or, or go close to the, the governor and say sir you have a call and, and, and you don't pick up the call. Yeah, so this issue of being overly prudent at the end of the day can land you in a big trouble. Now, now sorry to interrupt you. If at this rate, what's the sense of the name? If they cannot even trace who have stolen the phone. That's another, you're coming because, from another yes, perspective. If they said, okay, ah, Nin, everybody should register for Nin and all that, and the person successfully steals this phone and switches off the number and no one can trace it. And I don't want to believe that Peter will be using a phone that cannot be tracked, cannot be traceable. You know, the, <laughs> you this, know this tracking, guy, this, tracking device. You know, this guy is a prudent guy, you know. So he, he will, like, if you listen to him, you realize that he would take time to uh, validate reasons why he should do something. So what's the essence of this? And okay, he can browse. Okay, he can browse. He, he, he can. I can make calls with it. He can easily get network and all of that. With that, I don't need an iPhone, so there's no need for an iPhone. But these are some of the things. This is why people do these things so that wow. in event of cases like this, you can, you know, you can be easily just imagine. They said all effort to trace it it's seems abortive and all of that. It's quite troubling. A lot of people are also looking at uh, uh, Onit, uh, that's an Ambra state that is an eye-opener, that there are thieves and all that. There are thieves everywhere. They are everywhere. Everywhere you want to go to, you will see Just thieves. Just keep your guards down. Now you know that there are thieves. Even in the so-called United States, in other center countries, there are thieves. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't live a, you don't live, live a careless life and expect that um, protection will just come anyhow. Exactly. It's really, really sad, honestly, that a presidential aspirant, I've never heard in my entire life. Life, oh my God. A presidential aspirant, even a governor's phone was stolen. What's the sense of those? And who knows? Maybe some of those aids they are being given to security. Maybe I probably dislodged them. Say, there's no need, need, need and all of that. I've not committed any crime. crime. So why would anybody come after me? Someone here says Obi is a gentleman. Although people say he's too stingy as a Yoruba person, I think he has conducted himself in a proper manner and he is fit to become the president. I hope the Igbos will allow him because they need to change the attitude because our Adish says. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm trying to look. This one says, the person that stole his phone has mortgaged his life forever. This one's just like a curse. You're being spiritual. Yeah, you're being spiritual here. Let's be very practical. Exactly. This is a Nigerian situation. Yes. What should he do? What should he do is most important. Someone says he will get the phone back. There are many ways to track it down. Even if they destroy 
destroy the phone and any information they take out of the phone will still implicate them. I, I feel that uh, Peter Obi, being who he is, should be uh, techno technologically advanced, you know, and uh, he know he would, should know the importance of putting key information in his drive, Google Drive at least, you know, yeah, that's so true. You can even retrieve when he, it anywhere. He, yeah, he can still yeah. retrieve it anywhere and all of that. I mean, this is a serious one. I didn't expect this, but it has happened. And I feel that this is an eye opener for him. We'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. Let's talk. What do you think about hoodlums snatching phone from uh, our upcoming president? Because he, for me, he's my president. He's a good guy. I like him.